Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to execute the 4 card Ascanio and the 5 card Ascanio spread. Now this is a very easy sleight of hand move to perform in a card trick. Um, it should come naturally so barely any practice is needed. So for the 4 card Ascanio you're going to need 5 cards and for the 5 card Ascanio you're going to need 6 cards. So the whole point of this is that it hides the 3rd card down from the packet of cards. Okay. But you can only use about five or six cards because this is just a, a little substitution for the Elmsley count. If you don't know what that is, um, just go look it up. But anyways, let's get started. This is the Escanio spread. Flip over the third card and start with the five-card version. So you, you have your third card flipped over. That's your little setup. And hold it in a biddle grip, which is a very loose and comfortable grip. Nothing too tight. Take your index finger and your thumb. Grab the top and bottom cards and slide it down just a little, okay? It's about, about one third, nothing too much. Take your, um, now middle finger, the pad of your middle finger should now touch the fourth card like this and slide that one down as well, like that. Now you're going to control the spread by sliding your thumb down just like that. And that's the four card Ascanio. And if you do it really smoothly, it should look something like that. And if, you, if you're having trouble with this, here's something that could help a lot. Take the second and third cards and just bend it a little, just like this. Now what this does is allows the card to stick together so that you can execute this move more smoothly. Okay? Just like that. So... That's the four card Ascanio. Let's get right into the six card Ascanio, five card Ascanio spread. So this one uses six cards. And of course, the the third card is still going to be flipped over. Okay. And no matter how many cards you add, it's always going to be the third card. So to do this, you're going to do the same thing as the four card Ascanio, just like that. And then take your middle finger like that. But you can see there's another card. So take your ring finger and now uh, touch the fourth card, no, fifth card, and drag that one down. And, and you could see the card that you are trying to hide. And then once you've used up your ring finger, you know you're done with the five card Ascanio spread. Drag the thumb down, and there it is. So like I said before, you could just bend this a little more. And it should be pretty easy like that and there's your hidden card so yeah I really recommend that you practice a little bit and even try the bending card method it really works always has to be in the third position so if yeah doesn't matter what card it is just in the third position so that you could execute your Scania spread very easily so that's your Scania spread tutorial Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.